and uh, happy new year to everybody here we are one more year let's see what it brings i hope that everything is good for everybody so all right as you can see some changes <laughs> we're gonna be uh <laughs> for a very short period will be my uh, beer will uh, get back soon this was an experiment for my son to see if he could recognize me without uh, beer <laughs> uh, but yeah so um, as you can see um, Juan Toledano, buenas noches uh, buenas noches, <laughs> bienvenido uh, welcome uh, so we are going to be uh, painting uh, this character uh, Pontus hey Pontus how are you man how are you happy new year got new or uh, Grilla hello hi Miguel happy new year happy new year to you too and uh, welcome to the stream how are you so you've been following me uh, on Instagram yesterday. I, I posted something that I just started was yesterday or before yesterday. Um, so uh, after I heard that the actor Henry Cavill um, uh, wanted to play as a Warhammer 40k character, uh, I thought that damn, yeah, he. I, I'm a big fan of his, uh, by the way, and um, I thought that, yeah, he could perfectly be so many characters in 40k universe and that would be fantastic. So to me, at least, because he has such a, a heroic uh, look, right, squarish, uh, Joe face, uh, angular uh, i thought that he could look like a pretty good space marine uh and since he's uh quite handsome then i thought that yeah maybe in the space marines um range maybe a blood angel uh could fit him uh rather um good so i decided just to paint him as a blood angel space marine so there we there, here we are <laughs> this is very rough um, but uh but yeah let's see where where it leads uh it's been quite fun uh, so far and uh, yeah it would be fantastic if he can um if um, when it's finished if he, he gets to see this um will be fantastic i will try to ask as many help as possible to try to reach him so he can see it and, and that would be fantastic so yeah we'll see pontus happy new year all good my son is born what do you mean your son you had a son pontus what the hell <laughs> really well con congratulations man uh well uh, that's that's fantastic. Well, congratulations to you, to Marlene, of course, and uh, yeah, to to your family. Uh, fantastic news, man. Uh, when was it? Man, I had no idea that you were pregnant uh, again, man. What a great news! <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, Takey Marines, my favorite actor in my favorite universe. Yeah, nice. Well, I think it's a, a a pretty good fit. I mean, the the likelihood that they would do a feature films or something with Space Marines, I think I don't see that really happening. I think there is a lot of uh, huge challenges. Uh, it could be done, perhaps, but yeah, I don't know. So, and he definitely could be many characters that are not uh, a Space Marine, right? uh but i mean since um i didn't have that that much to time to think about it and uh well i don't have the time <laughs> really and to me it really felt like uh, it uh, suited like a glove um so i'm not trying to 
come up with something that could happen in real life for a feature film, but just, okay, so uh, something that he could uh, play and make a very nice role and, and fit uh, very nicely. So again, I thought that uh, Blood Angel uh, would be uh, perfect for him, in my humble opinion. I don't know. Uh, Juan Toledano looks very dynamic. Like how it's going. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I tried to yeah do something a little bit more uh, yeah a little bit more dynamic instead of just uh, completely uh, fixed and um, and still pose. So yeah, I think it's uh, I'm happy with um, how it's going as well in terms of the of the pose. Uh, Gria, uh, Henry Cavill as a Blood Angels, the perfect, perfect combination, <laughs> right? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you guys uh, uh, think uh, the same way. I mean, I'm absolutely open for suggestions. Uh, <clears throat> as I said on Instagram, uh, uh, maybe now it's a little bit too late to go back and tr to redo into something else, but I'm more than open to suggestions and, uh, and yeah, like always. So. If you have any cool ideas, please share and uh, and let's see yeah, if, if we can make it uh, uh, work. Uh, Pontus, yeah, no, I do. <laughs> Thanks, man. That Pontus, uh, what can I say? That it's a, uh, it, it's a. Uh, very shocking for no reason but just because it comes from out of the blue but fantastic fantastic news i'm very very happy for you guys wow <laughs> uh, Gria, he's collecting and playing Acustedi's army as far as i know yeah i i heard that interview as well um but to be honest i mean I whatever he play I mean what if he is collecting an orc army you know I'm not gonna make him as an orc I just thought that okay something that I personally thought that he could um, make a, a, a great fit and uh, Custodes I mean I think he's I think he's too handsome to just play uh, a normal um, space marine um i mean of course nothing says that space marine cannot be handsome right but still they are gonna look a little bit brutish and uh and i don't know and i, I mean still um blood angels are more or described as beautiful um in a space marine way i guess and i mean he has very strong jaws and very squarish i mean that's why he makes such a great superman right so i, I think he uh, without the brutish uh, side uh, i think he 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 has a lot of features already uh, that looks pretty cool and uh, very heroic uh, stand so i mean that's going to be one of the <clears throat> one of the major uh, challenges um I mean, still, this is uh, very much work in progress and very rough. Um, so for the moment, uh, I've been trying to work for the likeness uh, and still it's not there yet. I'm pretty aware of it. Um, but once it looks a little bit more like him, then I'm going to have to make a pass to Space Marine him. Um, and still, I don't know how I'm going to do that. And I think that's going to be the, the biggest challenge uh, <clears throat> for, for this uh, illustration. How to keep the likeness, uh, but still make him look uh, like a proper space marine. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, we'll see. But, uh, but yeah, pretty cool. I don't know. I think... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it just came as a, a completely out of the blue uh, uh, idea uh, just when I heard uh, that interview I think that's the same interview where he says that he has collecting um, 
I could still with army, uh, but still, um, I thought like, yeah, maybe it would be cool. And uh, to um, paint him as a uh, 40k character. And then I said, yeah, let's, what the hell, let's do it. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> Uh, want to so yeah i have been busy <laughs> anyway back to drawing <laughs> yes you've been busy naughty boy uh david luca hi miguel how are you doing how were your holidays like hello man uh welcome back um it's been pretty good thank you i hope it was the same for you um, um we traveled to lithuania um which was very cold but um uh, with a lot of snow so it was fantastic so yeah i i really enjoyed my my uh, holidays it was very nice thanks for asking Uh, Juan Toledano, Captain Cavill doesn't need a jump pack to fly. <laughs> yeah, true. Just a cape, a red cape. Uh, <laughs> I think he... I think he's the best Superman uh, uh, there has been. I don't know uh, what you guys think, but I think he's been... Yeah, the, the best Superman. Um, all right. Let's uh, flip the image. So, um, like I always say, it is very important just to do this, um, this spot um, errors and things that doesn't uh, work and are invisible to the eye. So at this point, I'm just trying to add um, the elements that I, I feel uh, need to be added. Um, so I'm working um, rather, uh, how do you say, um, rough. I've been... Uh, well, I've been, I'm, I'm now, um, now that I have a little bit uh, more uh, spare time and I, I need to profit now um, because of that, I've been spending more time working on the tutorial uh, for how to, spay, uh, how to paint space mines. So let's see how much of a big push I can do. Um, because <clears throat> as I have mentioned previously, I am starting to get a little bit tired of uh, of the whole thing. <laughs> so, yeah, the sooner I am done with them, the sooner you will uh, be able to to see it and hopefully enjoy it, and I can move on to something else and uh, quite frankly more exciting which is my project i know that i'm not enjoyed so far the process of creating the the, the tutorial but it's just like it's been now more than a year on the making uh, <clears throat> it's a lot of uh, content to do and uh 
uh, pretty exhausting. So yeah, I'm I'm a little bit tired. Uh, Dumfrey Gamers TV. I hope Henry sees this. Uh, I hope so too. I hope so too. Uh, with some luck, uh, <clears throat> people uh, will help to spread the word, and um, hopefully it uh, reach uh, it reach him. And because it would be fantastic if I could um, um, give him like a high resolution. Um, um file right so he can have a print or something um yeah it will be it will be awesome once it's uh, finished of course i agree yeah yeah i agree blood angels is matching definitely yeah yeah uh, I, I think so too i mean he could uh, very well also as a <coughs> pre-heresy um, emperor's children, right? Um, I think he, he could be uh, a good fit there as well. I mean, he could also be, um, I mean, just if we start to speculate um, about uh, possible fits, um, he could play, he could make a good job uh, or fit as a some of the primarchs, uh, I think. I think, obviously, as Fulgrim, I think. Um, Sanguinis, I'm not that sure, actually, because he has not a especially so-called angelic uh, face, right? He's more heroic. Uh, <clears throat> I think he could be a good uh, Lehman Russ, for instance. Um. Well, what do you think? Uh, what do you think, people? Uh, Thinking in terms of uh, Primarchs, uh, which ones do you think uh, he could do uh, a good uh, fit? I, I think um, many of them. <coughs> Down free gamers, why not a Custodis? Sorry if uh, you have answered uh, already. Yeah, no problems. Um, I think... Um, as I was saying, I think he's a little bit, of course, this is relative and uh, obviously uh, that could be changed uh, using um, makeup and stuff like that or CGI. But I, I think he, he looks a little bit too handsome uh, to be just a space marine, right? So that's why I, even though still he has very squarish jaw and very heroic uh, features um, which in some way are very space marines but he lacks a little bit the brutish like uh, mid head aspect which that's which i always uh, imagine space marines uh, being um, of course that's very uh, relative but yeah so I, I see Custodes a little bit that way as well, even though they are not space marines, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought more of a space marine because it's a bit more iconic uh, than Custodes um, and uh, within space marines uh, since uh, Dark in uh, sorry, since um, uh, blood angels uh, are supposed to or regarded as uh, good-looking uh, 
or a handsome or pretty uh, in a space marine way, uh, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, I, I think that that w that was a a, a good um, fit. And again, I, I wasn't thinking in terms of what army he's collecting, uh, because as I was saying, what if he's collecting Necrons or, or Orcs, right? Uh, so I was just thinking in terms of what I, I thought he, he fits, uh, he could fit better as a character, um, not in terms of what he collects, but yeah. <coughs> Uh, Dumfries, uh, sorry, no, before, uh, Padrecilla, saludos Miguel, gran trabajo, muchas gracias, bienvenido al stream, muchas gracias. Uh, Dumfries, uh, please use Harry's likeness in your next God Space Marine supplement cover. Your supplements drawings are still my favorite uh, 40k art ever. Well, thanks, that's uh, very, very, very nice of you to say. Um, thank you. But that's a uh, absolute no. <laughs> Not because it wouldn't be cool or because it wouldn't work. It's just that uh, that's very touchy subject. Um, because, yeah, I cannot use, uh, especially uh, uh, the likeness of, uh, of such a well-known and renowned uh, actor uh, for a paid uh, and commercial uh, use, um, in this case, uh, uh, book. Um, I couldn't do that uh, for uh, legal reasons. Um, so no, that will be a big no-no. Um, yeah. But something as a fan, as I'm doing now, yeah, why not, right? I was thinking in terms uh, also about uh, okay, what is the like the likelihood of uh, some sort of um, feature film or, or series, uh, and what um, role he could play in it that could fit. So of course uh, it came to mind the the Ace in Horn uh, TV series. And uh, I was thinking which role he could play that I, I think he could fit perfectly. And to me, one came straight to my mind. And that's uh, Ravener before the accident. I mean, he's described as uh, very handsome, uh, very strong and athletic, very um, with a very heroic stance. Uh, so I think he's perfect. He could be perfect as a as a young uh, Gideon uh, Ravener. What what do you think, guys? I'm I'm very curious to 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 know what you think about his uh, uh, possible uh, fitting roles as a Warhammer 40k character. Uh, Escudero Imagine Desde Toledo se recomienda Trazo firme y disciplinado <laughs> Muy bien <laughs> Gracias, gracias <laughs> Gracias por la recomendación. Eh, apuntado. Eh, Juan Toledano. It could be a fan Discord challenge. Make different cabils uh, as uh, 40k uh, characters. Yeah, be, be my guess. Uh, Uh, 
uh, carnivorous. I have got a question about freelancing. Okay. Let's go. I have got a freelance concept artist opportunity. Right? Nice. Congrats. Uh, they, they are asking about my hourly rate and I have not really decided on one yet. How do you decide on your hourly rate? Right. What a great question. Uh, <clears throat> So, okay, so for that, first I would consider or, or think about what is your experience? Uh, um, I mean, in terms of, uh, do you have a, a, a long um, career um, experience, right? Um, or are you pretty new at it? So is your first gig? right that's something uh, to take in consideration right because you are not going to charge as as a um, a senior uh, artist or professional with a lot of experience if you don't have that experience because obviously you you, you will know uh, less uh, uh, so you cannot charge uh, the same amount so you have to take that in consideration um, and I'm just talking now in more abstract terms, in terms of, okay, uh, certain um, factors to uh, to take into account. Because you need to be uh, pretty um, fair uh, to that uh, price, right? So you cannot um, overprice yourself because you are making an ill favor uh, to yourself. But uh, also you can't, definitely, you cannot under value yourself either so so in in order to assess uh, that properly this this is one factor that come into play that it's important and i'm asking uh, because of course i don't know about you so yeah but okay if we don't without uh, continuing about that uh, okay so uh, seniority that's one factor so the more experience you have the higher it goes um, because once again, I mean, just in case it wasn't clear, uh, it is assumed that the more experience you have, the more you have to offer to your client, right? Um, you have more skills, more, uh, you are more resourceful, you, um, you work faster, etc., etc. Uh, and also you give more, um, <coughs> um, certainty. Uh, to your client that you are the, the quality uh, of the work that you are going to deliver is going to be high uh, so there is no uncertainty uh, on that part uh, then if you are completely new and you have no previous experience it's always a gamble it's quote unquote uh, I mean uh, but to a certain degree it might be uh, <coughs> a gamble uh, from the client because Maybe they see your portfolio and looks very good, but still you uh, you might not work well um, either. So being a good artist doesn't necessarily translate to being a good professional. Um, <coughs> so that's so yeah. So again, that's one part, right? Okay. So the other one is okay. Um, who the client is, where they are located, or what type of project uh, it is it going to be the work, right? So it's not going to be the same uh, charging uh, for uh, um, a company that is owned by one single person uh, and he's paying out of his own pockets uh, than if you are... Mm, um working for disney right which is a, a huge corporation with a lot of money um, and then the project let's say that this mm, comparing uh, with this uh, single person project this is going to be a personal project of his or hers uh, with no commercial real use you know it's just for him or her and and it's not the same as if going with the example of Disney as a, a client it's going to be for a <clears throat> multi-million project that is going to do millions of profits etc etc 
So that's another aspect to take in consideration when you are um, uh, rate. Uh, I mean, considering your rates uh, once again. Um, yeah. Um, and then another important thing uh, uh, to to think about is okay. So. And this is just to give you a bare minimum uh, that you know that you cannot go under that. So, so just to give this this uh, that I'm gonna talk about is it, not just to give you the the number that you should go for, but at least to give you the the, the absolute minimum that you cannot go under for your own uh, benefit. So you need to think about okay what um if if you know more or less what the work is going to be and how long it's going to take you it's like okay consider uh, what is the absolute minimum that you need to make in in, in money wise to cover or all your um how do you say um Uh, expenses right so I come on I mean rental or uh, food uh, you name it uh, <clears throat> uh, taxes that you need to uh, pay as well uh, th that's another thing that uh, people sometimes don't think about that uh, when you are asking when you are considering your rates as a freelancer you need to take into account also um, on that rate the <coughs> um, the taxes um, because if not if, if you are just considering what would be like your salary uh, and that's gonna and you ask that as your rate and then you're gonna have a very nasty surprise because then uh, the tax uh, people are gonna take a bunch of money from that and uh, then you have way less money than you thought about um, <clears throat> yeah so so yeah think about the absolute uh, uh, minimum that you at least need to cover your basic needs and never go under that and uh, <clears throat> and then um, considering what I was saying before about the type of job that is going to be, who is your client and your uh, experience, then you can calculate a little bit um, um, and make an approximation um, um, uh, how do you say um, calculus of, of what uh, you think it's a, a fair price uh, for it I um, if you give me a second uh, let me just change one second here uh, the screen so I don't show anything that I shouldn't be showing mm. Just sorry. Um, where is this? Where do I have this? Uh, no, this is not it. Uh, Ah, here it is. This is this no, this is not either. Uh. 
I had somewhere. Uh, uh, a kind of uh, list of uh, very approximate uh, listing of, of rates depending on 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 location and uh, seniority uh, more like a, a, a orientative um, uh, for uh, people like you that are struggling uh <coughs> and where is it Is it um, well, I guess I will I will post it some um, when I found when I find it uh, I will post it on 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 Instagram perhaps um, um, to give you a, 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 a more or less an idea uh, <coughs> another thing to 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 think about is uh, <coughs> an, an, an error that a lot of uh, of uh, unexperienced artists uh, do is to charge um, um, in relation to where you are living and not um, uh, in relation to the global market or the 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 the, um, the prices where the client is um, so a lot of people let's say that they live in a, a country where the <coughs> the the salaries tend to be pretty low uh, and they are gonna let's say um, uh, work with a studio or something on the US right uh, where maybe the <coughs> the in comparison the the salaries are pretty high they are gonna uh, they will ask f they will tell a rate that is more according to their own country instead of the, the location where the the studio is in this case for the example in in the US and, uh, and you shouldn't do that you should be charging uh, with uh, US um, prices, uh, not from your country. Um, yeah. But yeah, I when I find this uh, this kind of list uh, orientative uh, of orientative prices, I will post it on on my discord uh, channel and uh and maybe on on social media uh, i don't know we'll see but but yeah <clears throat> i hope this helped uh, let me know if uh, um, if you have further questions or want me to clarify something Uh, Gia, uh, I will be so happy when you release the uh, tutorial. <laughs> Glad to hear that, and me too. I will be <laughs> very happy. <laughs> As I said, it's been uh, now more than a year in the making. Not because I've been constantly working in uh, working on it, but because uh, yeah, I don't have the time, and it is a lot of work. Uh, so yeah, I've been trying to work on it uh, on the side. Uh, as much as I could, but yeah, it's um, yeah a lot of work. So <clears throat> and as I mentioned many times, um, it now it's starting to feel like a, a big uh, weight uh, that is uh, um, not allowing me to to start working more actively on my own project. Um, that uh, I hopefully will start uh, pretty soon. Um, so yeah, I I cannot wait. 
either. <laughs> For different reasons, I uh, I guess. Lucius. Hey, Lucius. How are you? Welcome. Like always, how was your holidays? Oh, by the way, uh, <clears throat> since I very recently came back from holidays, I, I didn't have time to really uh, look on the Discord channel, but I saw that there were the very cool entries uh, from some of you guys uh, with some pretty cool things. And uh, yeah, I didn't have time to make any comments uh, or anything, but yeah, uh, I will. Uh, Uh, Juan Toledano, Lionel Johnson. Yes, yeah, yeah. He he could be a, a great Lionel uh, Johnson uh, for sure. Totally agree. Uh, Dumfries, Henry would be a good Gilliman, I think. Heroic and classically good looking. As well, I. The thing is, I personally, I. I see Gilliman with a little bit thicker face than his. I, I just don't see him personally. Uh, but it's just more of a. a uh, personal uh, thing um, not that he wouldn't uh, make a, a, a good role uh, either but it's just that I, I don't see him that much uh, for some reason I always see Gilliman with a little bit thicker face uh, I don't know uh, <coughs> Um, let's see where am I on the on the chat? I'm I'm so far behind. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm uh, I'm out of uh, practice uh, after the holidays. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sergio Ponce Miguel, you were able to advance in your Patreon project. Um, well, um, yes and no. So again. Uh, I've been doing stuff um, uh, uh, for it to prepare for the the Patreon launch, um, but I feel that I I I must finish the the tutorials uh, 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 before I I can um, dive um, uh, with the with the my personal project so. Even though I still have done some things on the side, I have spent most time uh, working on the on the tutorial. Um, so yeah. Uh, Dumfries again. Uh, is it funny? It's funny how the old Space Marine art used movie actor likeness. Which game again had the Al Pacino Scarface head? Ah, yes, that that was from the second edition uh, with a dark, I think it was a dark angel um, thing. It was a supplement. Uh, maybe it was epic, um, I think, or something of the sort, but yeah. Observation source, exquisite. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I like your observations, observation. Uh, by the way, have I changed the, the screen? Yes, yes. Yeah.
uh, Juan Trudano, I think he could be a good fish uh, too. Yes, I yes, very true. Uh, I think that also. Even though I I feel that fishing, he's I imagine him being a little bit more rougher and uh, and and tougher to some degree. But yeah, I think he he could make also a good fishing as well. Uh, and yeah. I think he, it could it, it could work. Uh, Dumfries, Mark Strong for Ace in Horn, please. I mean, he really could just play the Emperor in a Horus Heresy series. Uh, I do, you know, it's kind of funny, but I don't know, and, and I'm not picking on you, uh, uh, Dumfries, but this is a open uh, question. What? is with the warhammer uh, 40k community with mark strong everybody's all the time mentioning mark strong and i love the guy <laughs> don't get me wrong i think he could play with uh, in a lot of roles but uh, whatever you say it always Mar mark strong or everybody sees mark strong on my drawings i don't know why <laughs> i don't get it and about Mark Strong being Ace in Horn? No, I disagree. I don't think he's uh, Ace in Horn. Mark Strong has very, uh, um, a leaner and thinner frame. And Ace in Horn is always described as a very strong and thick framed uh, character. He's definitely not smart. I mean, he's, for me at least, uh, he's not Mark Strong. Um, there are other are, um, actors that I think could play amazing. They would be a absolute perfect fit uh, for Ace in Horn, uh, if you ask me. But uh, not Mark Strong. Um, <coughs> of course, my humble opinion, right? Uh, MVB, uh, love this, good to catch you online. Thanks, and uh, happy you, you did. Uh, welcome to the stream. Ish Golok, hi Miguel, you really give me motivation for my art. I'm drawing a friend as a space marine at the moment. Do you have any tips uh, for the edges? Uh, thanks a lot uh, for your work. Uh, well, thank, uh, thanks for joining and, and, and watching. Welcome to the stream and um, and uh, thank you for the kind words and that is great to hear. Uh, and what do you mean by the edges? Uh, <clears throat> and yes, I have a lot of tips uh, uh, regarding uh, how to paint Space Marines as I've been talking uh, about quite a lot already during the stream. I'm working on this very long uh, tutorial for how to paint Space Marines. Uh, it will be several hours long. We'll divide it in several episodes. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to talk about because they are extremely, extremely challenging uh, characters to paint uh, properly, in my opinion. I think I still struggle quite a lot uh, when I each time I have to paint one, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> but I do struggle uh, and uh, I need to, I mean, it's so easy to make mistakes and uh, so, so, so easy. Uh, but, um, Without knowing exactly what you mean by edges, but I would just assume um, what I would recommend is to look out for uh, <clears throat> for the volumes uh, above anything else. Um, uh, don't think too much about edges, but think about the volumes. And 
and and how they really are and how 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 they behave in in 3D uh, and uh, and don't use miniatures uh, uh, as reference uh, because the proportions are completely off of course i mean assuming that you are trying to <coughs> to um, to do a realistic depiction uh, or semi-realistic depiction of a space marine stylized then yeah doesn't matter it's not an issue so. Uh, Cantabrian, hey, hey, Miguel, happy new year, loving the piece you are working on. Let's hope Henry Cavill sees it. Cantabrian, always an absolute pleasure having you here, and a happy new year to you too. And yes, uh, yeah, let's uh, cross fingers. And uh, and of course, if any of you guys can help to spread the word, so I don't know how these things work on the internet. Uh, maybe just like ab about uh, a brute force and spamming i have no idea but uh, i'm guessing that if uh, enough people talk about it um, it might uh, reach him because as i said it will be uh, quite cool if uh, if he sees this and uh, once it's finished, I can uh, I can um, pass him a high resolution um, file so he can has have his own print. Oh, which by the way, I just remember talking about prints. Uh, I have a as uh, as. A small thing I want to share uh, with you. I will just share it on on, on the Discord uh, channel. Uh, but I have something to share that I'm very excited about. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything else. It's uh, Warhammer 40k related and art and hanging. Um, yeah, I will share it only on the on the Discord um, server. So. If if you want to know what I'm talking about, just uh, go there and uh, I, I, will, I will try to share it as soon as I can. But yeah. Also, uh, as some other exciting news, um, still working on it. Uh, I don't have an absolute... Uh, there's no certainty yet, but I'm... I'm trying to. Uh, I'm working on something um, very exciting for the YouTube channel uh, for an episode. Um, I I don't want to say uh, much more without revealing because still I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But I'm working on it. I'm very hopeful that it will uh, it will work but uh, it has to do with an interview I will, so hopefully I will be able to be interviewing somebody um, if some of you have been here for a long time you might have a guess uh, of what I'm talking about uh, but yeah uh, I want to yeah, be um, cool about it and uh, yeah I'm not gonna mention more uh, because it might not happen uh, um, at the end but hopefully yes um, so but yeah I'm I'm genuinely very excited about it I, if it gets to happen I'm very 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 excited and uh, you should be too uh, if you knew <laughs> that's the only thing I can say <laughs> Uh, 
uh, carnivorous. Uh, you know a little about me, lol. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. <laughs> Alex again. Uh, uh, so I have a, uh, I, I, I have like a year and a half of in industry as a junior concept artist. All right. Um, all right. So that that's uh, that's decent. Um, I mean, it's uh, it's not a lot, of course, but uh, it's not uh, nothing. Uh, as I said, I, I will try to. Um, uh, I have it somewhere on my computer. Uh, this list that it's. Uh, can uh, give you um, an idea. Uh, I will I will look for it after the stream. So I don't want to uh, just stay all the stream just looking for it uh, uh, live uh, because it will be very boring for everybody. <clears throat> but yeah, I after the stream I will um, I will find it and I will post it on on the Discord uh, uh, channel. So yeah. Oleg, good vibes. Well, or, well, that was maybe a emoticon, I don't know, <laughs> emoji. <laughs> uh, MVB, I believe Sir Cavill absolutely adores Custodes. Yeah, I think so. Um, um, uh, um, I believe he's, um, he plays a, um, a Custodes army, right? So <clears throat> to share a little bit of the of insight into what I'm thinking or what I'm uh, trying to accomplish at the moment, I'm I'm trying to work in 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 a very rough uh, uh, way. All the elements I, I feel need to be on the character and illustration, and uh, and trying to figure out the pose, uh, lighting, um, the volumes, and uh, uh, so kind of um, setting the foundation uh, before I, I I work on on, on any details and, and polishing things. As I was saying previously, it's so, so, so easy to make mistakes um, <clears throat> when um, drawing or painting Space Marines uh, in terms of volumes uh, and uh, shapes and yeah. For, for instance, um, and the proportions and everything, for instance, I just looking at it. At this point, I feel that the head is too big. It should be slightly smaller. Um, it's a very, very tiny um, thing, but I, I feel that it's already too big. Um, but so I know about it. I will change it uh, a little bit later on uh, <coughs> when I, I, I do another pass to increase the likeness uh, of uh, Henry um, because now he looks similar but it's not him yet it's kind of getting close but 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 not there yet mm. um Oleg, Miguel, you are practically unrecognizable without a beard. Uh, I look nice, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, it makes sense, right? If you have only seen me uh, with, uh, um, with a beard, uh, of course. 
Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, Basat, uh, Basat War, I think Mr. Cavill uh, would be the perfect Gregor Ace in Horn. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to picture him. Uh, the thing is that uh, Mr. Cavill, uh, he looks uh, too much like a good guy. Uh, of course, that might be change, and uh, of course, he's a good actor, so he could uh, give a twist. But I, I'm, I tend to think or picture that whoever plays Essenhorn need to have certain evil edge uh, to his uh, demeanor and 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 look. Um, and I don't mean uh, tough or badass or whatever, because uh, Mr. Cavill has all of those things, right? I, I mean more like evil. Uh, because, I mean, if you think about it, Ace Horn has that duality, right? Between if he starts like the very good guy, uh, but he goes into a corruption path, right? And, and the character that he becomes uh, later on is not the how he starts. So I, I, I feel that, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't see it. That's why, for example, I think he he would be a better fit with uh, fishing, right? Because that's a very um, in imperial... Uh, <laughs> Uh, how do you say from a uh, 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 Warhammer 40k imperial uh, perspective? Uh, Fishing is a moral uh, person, um, right? He he has very high standards, uh, uh, and I, I think uh, uh, Mr. Cavill has that. Um, that kind of, um, sh how do you say, uh, irradiates a little bit that, that kind of quality, right? Uh, like the hero. Uh, <clears throat> and I think Jason Horn has a little bit of anti-hero uh, type of, um, um, as an archetype, I, I think. Um, but again, that's my, my humble opinion. Um, Uh, Sergio, I like your cap. I want one. <laughs> you do? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I, I don't know what to answer to that, uh, how to solve that, but uh, but yeah, who knows? Um, uh, one of the things that I've been considering uh, for um, to help me out with my personal project and with the Patreon and everything is to put together a little bit of uh, merchandise. Um, so I don't know. I I never thought that anybody could uh, want something uh, like it. But if you say so, then maybe <laughs> maybe some other people uh, might want to. So okay, good to know. Thank you. Uh, this was a um, uh, a present from my father. Uh, so he's very supportive. Uh, and uh, this is the well, as you know, that's the logo uh, of my uh, artistic uh, signature, uh, and that I use for my company and everything. So he thought it was a cool thing to put it on a cap and give it to me. So, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. So <clears throat> maybe, yeah, maybe it's something. Uh, to think about uh, to put some um, 
merchandise um, and of course I was more thinking in terms of things related to the project uh, but yeah maybe there is place for something like it Uh, Juan Trudano, great, that our intuitive list would be very helpful. Yeah, yeah I, I would post it. Um, I know, I, I think <coughs> the thing with um, uh, rates and, and prices and everything, it's uh, extremely, extremely important to know. And um, uh, I think uh, it is uh, for the benefit of everybody if... Uh, uh, the discussion about money uh, and uh, rates and prices would be a little bit more open uh, because it will benefit everybody. Um, <coughs> um, so yeah, uh, uh, I uh, will do my best to find it and, and post it. Alvianim, hey, welcome. Hi, Miguel, and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. It would be amazing if Cavill sees the piece. Uh, what a guy. Yes, yeah, I agree. Uh, I said many times already, but yeah, I, I definitely would love it. And uh, I'm a big fan of his. I, I think he, uh, he does a great job. Um, I like a lot his uh, his work. Uh, I'm enjoying immensely the the Witcher, uh, by the way, and I think he he's doing a uh, he has done a great job so far uh, with it. I remember that even though I'm a big fan of his, uh, um, when I heard that he was going to play uh, uh, Gerald uh, for the Witcher, I thought like, hmm. I mean, like this kind of discussion that we're having uh, right now about. Um, uh, what would be a good fit uh, or he, if he would be a good fit for certain characters or not and I thought at that time like hmm, I, I don't see it or I, I don't really see it but I, I think he um, he's done a, a great job so far I haven't finished the whole second season yet I'm, I'm actually <coughs> starting uh, started so but yeah um, in the first season it was great and so far on the second i think he's doing a fantastic uh, job and he i, I think he is the best uh, superman ever uh, done ever and i mean other films uh, he's great as well but uh, but yeah just talking about this <coughs> Um, blah, 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 let's see uh, Jorge Monparler hello Miguel I'm a very interested I'm very interested in doing the illustration course that you give at CGMA Could you talk a little about it and what it is about all right uh, well Jorge um, thank you uh, welcome to the stream and uh, yeah of course and uh, uh, fantastic that you are asking about it because actually <clears throat> the the new term will start um, uh, soonish, uh, uh, the twenty something of January, uh, will start a new term uh, for the winter term. Um, so yeah, I'm very gladly uh, 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 I'm gonna speak about it. So all right, so this course it's about narrative. Uh, so you need to think about this uh, course as not a course where i'm gonna be teaching you is not uh, like technical skills in terms of how to paint or draw uh, stuff like that uh, but more about how to use uh, the those same fundamentals of art that you study or practice in any um sorry one second Mm. 
yeah sorry about that like always now i start on the uh, um look at uh in case my son uh, wakes up so i will have to be um um attentive in case he he cries or wakes up so and i will have to uh, speak a little bit um uh more quiet so all right so i was saying um uh, yeah about this course so in this course we go through all all the fundamentals of art that you normally um, study or practice in any other type of uh, technical course about perspective, you know, colors, um, uh, <coughs> uh, composition, uh, values, etc. And we focus into how to use them as narrative tools. Talking about the devil, uh, there he is. Once again, I will be back. I'm back. Sorry, but uh, yeah, Lord Commander Dante uh, <coughs> lost his pacifier. So, <laughs> um, all right. What I was talking about here, yeah, the course. Uh, yeah. So, um, <coughs> we go through the fundamentals of art. Um, and how to use narratives in order to um, say something with those fundamentals. I mean, I think that uh, mm, there is a huge obsession um, um, about people trying to know how to paint, you know, how to be uh, great with uh, anatomy or with uh, perspective or with composition but there is a lack of um, of message there is little there to see there is just a pretty picture and nothing in, in it just a, 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 an empty sh a pretty shell so the whole course uh, turns around how to use uh, um, fundamentals of art as narrative uh, tools um, to, to use uh, narrative visually uh, with those fundamentals and um, and is an extremely extremely important and vital skill to have and uh, one that plenty of people and students neglect because as, as I'm saying uh, they uh, focus only on a technical level um, but they so, so they try to be uh, great craftsmanships um, uh, sorry uh, craftsmen uh, uh, but uh, but they don't uh, work and train to be good communicators um, <coughs> and that's basically what narrative is about um, uh, knowing your tools uh, and in order to um, 
communicate properly some ideas, concepts, uh, stories, um, uh, you name it, it could be anything. So how to combine all those things and, uh, and, and to um, do something uh, compelling with your art, to, to say something. And it doesn't need to be, you know, uh, something very uh, deep and, and uh, intricate and complicated. It can be something uh, uh, very simple, but it needs to be clear and it needs to be compelling or, com or, or it needs to be... Um, presented and communicated in a compelling way so it really uh, touch uh, the viewer uh, in, a, in a stronger and compelling way right and for that you need to understand and uh, know how to use the visual arts with a narrative intent and that's what uh, the whole course uh, turns around um, we also um, uh, dive a little bit into characters as well, uh, and using narratives, uh, 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 sorry, and using narrative for character design, but also how uh, characters are used as well as narrative elements in uh, uh, illustration as well or other media. So, so in a very um, general um, uh, way um, that's what the the course is about it's uh, eight weeks long um, with uh, <coughs> uh, homeworks um, uh, weekly homeworks that i will be uh, giving feedback to and there is a q a session uh, weekly live uh, with me and the rest of the of the students so everybody together uh, and I will gi be giving, uh, or normally I give the feedback in a recorded video. And uh, depending on the uh, number of students, maybe um, sometimes I do the, the feedback live as well uh, before the Q&A, but it depends. So, yeah, if you have any more questions, please ask. But... Uh, it is a subject that I'm extremely passionate about and that I'm very passionate about because I think it's of vital importance to to be a good artist. Uh, and uh, it is a skill that is a discipline or a part in the making art that uh, most people nowadays absolutely neglect. And that's something that you can see uh, quite often, for example, on our station, uh, where you have plenty of beautifully crafted images, illustrations, or characters. It's filled with it. But they are all the same. They are just copies, uh, copies of copies of copies. It's just things for the sake of, you know, pretty pictures, nothing else. There is no substance. There is no message of any kind. So hopefully, uh, with, this, uh, <coughs> with, with this course, uh, you will be able to uh, communicate something uh, with it. And again, it doesn't need to be super elaborate. It doesn't need to be uh, something very elevated. It can be very simple, but at least clear and hopefully with the right uh, knowledge and practice as any skills uh, will be compelling uh, to your audience. So yes, that's, that's what it's about. Um, as uh, a very famous um, um, director of photography, Italian director of photography, that his name is escaping uh, at the moment, uh, this course is teaching you how to do art in capital letters more than uh, painting. Uh, so, yeah, um, so more or less. <laughs> uh, 
referring to the code. I'm just like transforming it uh, because it was uh, more related to uh, what he speaks uh, in terms of uh, doing cinema. Uh, and he was talking about that uh, most schools that only teach about technical skills, about how to put lights and angles and lenses and everything, but they don't teach how to do uh, how to do art. Which at the end of the day is always about communicating. It's always communication. What change is the medium, right? It could be cinema. It could be read, uh, uh, writing. It could be uh, dancing. Could be music. Can be uh, yeah, plenty of uh, mediums. But it's about uh, communicating something, an idea, a story, a mood. Uh, a concept I mean it could be many 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 things so yeah again let me know if this is enough or you want <laughs> uh, yeah, you have uh, further questions but I believe the new term starts the 26th of uh, this month January uh, but if you cannot join this term, there, w there is always, um, there will be more. Um, there's one for spring, autumn, etc., etc., summer. Uh, David Luca, I saw uh, you did a challenge called Nemesis in the past. What, I what is it about and will you propose that again? Uh, yes, the, the Nemesis art challenge. Um, so yes, yes, of course. Uh, <clears throat> I have uh, spent, I believe, some streams uh, uh, before um, doing some of uh, the characters for that challenge. So that is a challenge that uh, uh, some friends of mine and myself uh, came uh, uh, an idea uh, to, to do, which is based around the character design. Uh, so the overall idea is um, that you need to find uh, uh, another artist that will be your rival, um, right? And the challenge is composed of two rounds. For the first round, uh, each of you uh, will be uh, creating their own character. And that character needs to be secret. You cannot share anything with your uh, opponent, anything related with the character that you are doing. And this uh, character can be anything you want, but it needs to be a hero whatever that might be. So it's very open and free uh, for you to do whatever you feel like. And uh, we decided, we thought that to give certain time frame, uh, uh, each round would be, uh, would be in uh, two weeks each. So for this, uh, for the first round, it's, you have two weeks. Once you have, you are done with that first week, you uh, change, uh, you show your character, your hero character to your opponent. Uh, you will give your character and your opponent will give you uh, his or her uh, hero character. And for the second round, uh, you and your opponent will have to uh, design a nemesis character for the hero that he or she designed and uh, your uh, opponent will have to do the same for your own hero i would have to use your um, final piece your design as an art as the sole source of uh, artistic direction for their own design for that uh, for that uh, enemy nemesis uh, character and after two weeks, you will uh, hands uh, those nemesis, and then you will compare and and decide who would 
I mean, just for the fun of it, um, two of those characters would uh, win a fight. But of course, it's just like I said, it's just for the for the fun of it. But yeah, the the, the important thing is just uh, the the design uh, challenge itself. Uh, so yeah, that's what it is about, and. Uh, we are, um, and well, and of course, yes, in order to make it more like a community thing, it's important uh, when you post uh, your characters just to always uh, post uh, your opponents uh, once and uh, always put the hashtag of the um, Nemesis R challenge. And the thing is, like, we announce it when we are doing it ourselves but there is no so-called official moment to do it you can do it anytime you want um it's up to you right so you don't need our permission to just do it yourself uh because uh, again it's, it's just an excuse to uh to do a cool this uh, character design exercise uh <clears throat> Uh, and uh, which uh, is actually very fun and, and you learn quite a lot from it uh, <clears throat> and uh, we love to do it uh, of course we are pretty busy um, the other guys are uh, also a professional concept artists and they are also very busy um, so when we ta we find the time and sometimes it's uh, difficult to to organize uh, everybody uh, to have uh, a little time to do it we do it but again you can do it anytime uh, you want um, so you just need to find somebody uh, to do it with um, so yeah Uh, Lucius, my holidays were fun and plenty of painting was done. Uh, Mark Strong would be Alfarius, in my opinion. Yeah, he could be a good Alfarius. But again, sorry, Mark Strong, he's, he's not a good... I mean, he doesn't look that tough f physically. I, I, not a Primark, not a Space Marine. Nah. He could be plenty of uh, good uh, uh, fit for uh, plenty of characters in the 40k universe for sure. I mean, he's an amazing uh, actor and uh, uh, and I like him quite a lot. But it's uh, but yeah, <laughs> and, and once again, I <laughs> I find it uh, pretty interesting and funny that obsession with uh, within the the Warhammer 40k fan base. Uh, about this uh, particular actor. <laughs> I mean, he could be... What character uh, I think Mark Strong could be, uh, could be a good fit? Maybe a good I, uh, Ibrahim Gaunt? Maybe he's a little bit too old now, but... Uh, I think he, he could have uh, been a good fit for guns. Uh, Lucy, I really hope this interview happens. Uh, I have a good guess. Yes, I, th I, th I think you were one of the people that... Uh, <laughs> I thought that y you could guess and yes, yes, yes. So I'm, um, I'm, um, mm, yes. I, I really hope that happened too. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it happen uh, now for real. So yes. Mm. 
dog and art i hope so too all right nice nice i mean if it happened if it really happens uh, i will definitely share it with you uh, the news uh, because it will be huge in my humble opinion uh, and uh, something that many many of you i'm absolutely certain would be uh, delighted uh, uh, with Hugalindo, uh, thanks for the subscription. Thank you. Cantabrian, uh, Lucius, I think I have a clue too. Nice. <laughs> Nikolai, uh, hi Miguel. Hi Nikolai. Uh, uh, thanks for watching and welcome to the stream. Uh, Carnivorous, uh, thanks so much for your insight, Miguel. Uh, very helpful. I will join your Discord and keep an eye out for that list. All right. Awesome. Uh, David De Luca, I have a question. How do you determine where is the darkest spot in the illustration of a character? Not the general shadow, but the darkest place within the shadow that almost is black. Ah, that's almost black. Hope I, it, uh, I was clear. Yeah, I think you are clear. <clears throat> well, I that's. That's something that I'm going on the go, so um, especially if I'm working directly with colors as I'm doing now, um, <clears throat> if I work in black and white and with values uh, only f uh, from the beginning, then uh, that's something that will be better established uh, early on. Uh, but more or less at this stage where I'm just uh, working rough. Uh, but uh, it depends. I'm. I mean, it's a little bit uh, uh, as things goes. Um, I can't say. Uh, I don't have it decided uh, yet. The same thing as with the lightest. Uh, I still uh, haven't uh, push it as much as it can or. Uh, or if I want, I, I don't know. That's something that I, I will try and see and experiment uh, on the go. So it's a little bit of a trial and error, uh, if that makes sense. Unless, uh, and but of course that always gonna depend uh, on the situation. Unless I have a very specific idea from the very beginning or something very clear that I want to achieve and uh, and the values play a very big role in it right so again a little, a little um, glimpse and um, uh, in regards to the to my course um, <coughs> about narrative so um, yeah, if I have, if I want to use values uh, with certain narrative intent, uh, maybe that plays a big role, and it's something that I will have in mind from the very beginning as an objective. Uh, that might be the case, uh, uh, so that might help to decide certain things, um, as for example, the darkest spots on a character. Uh, but, but if that is not the case. Uh, in regards to values as it is uh, in this illustration then it's more of a <coughs> um, on the go and um, regarding that if uh, going at mold almost as black normally I would um, as a general rule, uh, I would try to avoid uh, going to pure black uh, because it, it normally is is uh, it tend to to uh, uh, how do you say um, to taint uh, the 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 image in my opinion. <coughs> I think it's it, it's better to play uh, in 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 a more uh, subtle uh, and nuanced range of values uh, 
but try, trying always to avoid the extremes, uh, both on 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 the dark side and also on the bright side. So not going pure white and trying to avoid pure black. Uh, but again, that's in general terms. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. It doesn't mean that it cannot be done or it shouldn't or you should you should always uh, do that. Uh, yeah, it depends. Sometimes I'm thinking, okay, so I'm doing something like this and uh, <coughs> and I feel that I need a little bit more contrast uh, in the dark, uh, darkest area. So then I just go and just uh, prompt it up and, and try to, to make it uh, darker. Um, <coughs> Well, um, I have to say that soon I will have to finish the stream, um, like always, sadly, but uh, but yeah, I need to get up very early tomorrow, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, uh, David Luca, uh, uh, when I want to paint my sh uh, shadows. I paint my shadows are too flat, I think. Um, well, that's too bad. But then uh, mm, try to work a little bit more in in with the values. Um, try to practice uh, that. I you think that you are um, that you are struggling a little bit with that. Um, then that's your your cue <laughs> to, uh, to to improve that. Um, I mean, I myself, for example, I, I think sometimes uh, uh, m my uh, the darkest areas of my characters are a little bit uh, lack a little bit of contrast, so. Uh, I tend to think that sometimes I, I need to go a little bit darker um, after wood, after the fact, but but yeah, there's a, a, a little lack of, of uh, contrast. Um. Enrico Serini, Garvin Loken. Um, you mean like a role that um, Mr. Cavill could be? Yeah, I think he could be. He could uh, fit uh, very nicely. I mean, I think he's a very. Uh, Loken, yeah, has uh, these very. At least in, in, in my head. 
very hero like um, uh, look uh, to him, right? Uh, he, he very much fit that uh, archetype. Uh, I think he he could fit also very nicely as a. a Uriel uh, Ventries of the Ultramarines. Now I, I think about it. But at the same time, uh, as I was mentioning before, I, I think he's a little bit too handsome. <laughs> uh, generally speaking, to, uh, to play like this uh, more um, quote unquote. Uh, uh, normal uh, space marines or so that that's why like going more for a um, blood angels uh, I think uh, fits like a like a glove I mean maybe a, a Mephiston uh, uh, I think he he could be a great Mephiston now that I think about it Hugalindo, hello. First time catching your stream. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, I have got a bit of a question regarding values, if that is okay. Of course it is okay. Please shoot. Um, Carnivorous, has any anyone got the Discord link? Yes, let me uh, share it with you one second. Du -du -du. Give me one sec. I think you will see it on the general chats on yeah th th there you have it um here sadly I, I, I cannot uh, post it on the I cannot write it on the I think on the YouTube uh, chat box for some reason um so yeah Lucius, if your Space Marine tutorial was just asking people to watch the Ultramarine animation <laughs> and telling them to do the opposite of everything they see, it would be a great tutorial. It would be indeed. And uh, do you think it's going to be in it? Do you think it's going to be mentioned? Sun -sun, sun -sun. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, I haven't con- I, to be honest, I didn't consider it, but now that you mention it, yes, that would be a great tip of this is not how you do it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I mean, 
even even that i mean how is it how is it that we always end up at least mentioning once uh, the shitty film I guess it's, it's just because it's fascinating uh, as a piece of work of how bad it something can be. But yeah, it <laughs> even the the something as the the, the 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 minimum bar that you could put like or ask in this case for uh, for people that are actually doing an uh, an official uh, piece of work, right? I just to at least make a good depiction of space marines just to, to do proper volumes and, and shapes and everything and, 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 and even on that they, they absolutely fail this is like uh, what a crime that film is it's uh, insane In which, by the way, Mark Strong uh, participated. <laughs> uh, you didn't know about it. But I think he is one of the uh, uh, the um, voice actors uh, that that play in in, in that film. Two, 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 where were we? Uh, Julian Lindo, I have noticed that a lot of pro painters say that the darkest mid tones should still be brighter than the shadows reflected lights. But numerous artworks, even some from these very same professionals, have refre uh, reflected lights that are brighter than their darkest mid tones. It's very confusing. Right, yeah, it is very confusing. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm confused right now <laughs> about what I just read. Let me just go through it once again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I might be very tired. I don't know. Uh might be very simple. Uh the darkest mid tones should still be brighter than the shadows reflected lights huh Well, to be honest, I I don't know what to say. Uh, just out of my head uh, at the moment. I mean, what I would say is that normally all these type of uh, golden golden rules 
or or just rules or whatever you want to call them they are just guides uh, in general terms uh, but that doesn't mean necessarily that not following them uh, if you have if there is a good reason for it uh, it's, 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 uh, it's something bad uh, let's say like uh, the the, the rules of thirds for example for composition right they, they, you don't need to do it in order to do a compo a good composition it depending on what you are trying to achieve and what is your artistic vision perhaps uh, <clears throat> so you need to be careful with uh, those rules um, uh, and uh, it, and even though uh, what they say in general terms it's true again if uh, people don't follow them don't follow them doesn't mean uh, that uh, they don't work or that um, that uh, not following them it's uh, uh, it's also bad so I and uh, I hope it makes sense what I'm saying. So, in general terms, if you are learning uh, as a, a general guide, it's a good thing to follow. But the more you gain experience and the more uh, you know, uh, you start to to understand that okay, yeah, those are more or less, uh, more or less uh, guidance, but it does, doesn't necessarily mean that you need to follow them, uh, to the, um, to the exact, uh, uh, what's the expression in English to the, to the word. Um, so yes, <coughs> Th that's what I can say. And, uh, and it was, uh, very confusing. I agree. Uh, I I don't know if you meant <laughs> that, but uh, as uh, you exposed it, it was confusing to me at least. Uh, Comanche 47. Hola Miguel, tiempo sin ver tus directos. Bienvenido. Uh, Contento de que estés aquí. This is Mark Strong, wasn't it? Uh, he probably actually tries to hide that he was part of that project. Oh yes, indeed. I'm pretty sure he does. <laughs> but yeah, he was. I. Uh, well, now uh, you make me doubt, but I believe he's I he's in it. I think he puts the voice to one of the space marines. Um, Peter, hey all, hey, hey, welcome, how are you doing? Fugalindo. Ah, oh, yeah, right. Uh, the bounce light that hits a shadow should still be darker than the darkest mid-tones of the uh, light side of a four. Okay, yes, I think that uh, that's a little bit uh, better put. <sighs> to be honest, at the moment, I don't know uh, what to say. Uh, I guess you are right. Um, I'm not a theorist uh, in, uh, in, in light and color. Um, so... So yeah, I, I guess that uh, I'm just, uh, how do you say, uh, working more without thinking. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know really. Uh, I guess you are right. <laughs> it's been a long time uh, since I go into the 
meaty and gritty um, part of the of the theory. Um, so yes. But either way, uh, what I was saying still stands um, once again in, ter in, in terms of uh, of those rules. So for for instance, um, <coughs> something of this kind, right? Where it's trying to understand how actually light works uh, in reality. This is just a rule in, in case that uh, you want to do a, a realistic depiction of something, right? You want to be as accurate as possible to the real thing and gives you a guidance. But if you are trying, but again, if we are on an uh, artistic medium, <coughs> That doesn't mean that you can play around with those rules and just do whatever you please if that fits your needs of what you are trying to um, to do, right? So that's basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, Juan Toledano, it's a bit weird to establish so close rule to something as open as painting. I see it's more free, uh, you just see how it looks while painting and in each case you will probably resolve in a different way. All right, I, th I think, uh, I, again, uh, as I was saying, I, I haven't, it's been a very, very long time since I've gone into uh, color theory and, and, and light sense uh, and values uh, in, on that uh, uh, deep level, but um but probably it if uh, that's how it really works um it's definitely good to know um uh, to a certain degree right once again so you understand because it gives you some some it's a guide right and especially if you are trying to depict something uh in a realistic way because that's how light uh, behaves <clears throat> but like as you are saying and I, I was mentioning before and it's, yeah, again it's a guidance so but then on an artistic medium then uh, that things work that way in reality doesn't necessarily mean that you need to apply them in your art either um, so yeah So yeah, I mean, yeah, every <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, people, I think that uh, with this, um, um, we're gonna um, finish the stream today. Um, like always, fantastic. I'm very glad to be back. Um, let's see um how things go this year uh, uh, for the stream but yeah i think uh things are gonna go pretty well and yeah again fantastic to be back uh super uh, happy to see uh, all of you here and uh yeah let's see what happens with uh, this uh, henry cavill uh, character um Hopefully, I will be able to push it a little bit farther uh, for our next stream. And uh, I'm guessing that I will be continuing with it uh, during the next stream. Uh, we'll see, uh, depending on how things go. But, um, but yeah, again, thanks a lot for joining in and watching. Um, it's always a pleasure. And uh, for all of you uh, that are normally here and for all of you new ones that just joined today. And I wish you an awesome uh, week. Stay safe and healthy with all this COVID madness and uh, paint and draw a lot. Have fun with it and uh, see you next week. Same time as always. All right. Take care. Bye bye. And I will do my best and try to find those uh, rates uh, lists and post it on the Discord. Bye bye. <laughs>